Okay, so we have a uh, DV9000 right here. We're going to turn it on and see what happens. Appears it's turning on. And we have video. So we're going to see if we can't go into the BIOS and see what we got. So now we're in the BIOS. We see that we have 4 gigs of RAM and it's a 9700. So what we're going to do is uh, we're actually just going to take this one apart and reflow it anyways, just as a courtesy. But um, we'll see how everything goes with it as far as um, testing it out. Do it. Our diagnostic says that it works, but it may be an intermittent issue. Um, so we're just going to have to make certain that it's not an issue that just comes and goes. So we may boot it up into uh, Windows and do our burn in test to see how it holds up and see where it goes from there. But. Um, We'll continue testing it here for a second and see what goes on. So I have it starting up right now. We're going to see if it will go into Windows and uh, see how that goes. Now we can tell <coughs> that um, our hard drive activity is zero and that our wireless controller identification is, well, nothing. It's not going to be identified until we actually get uh, into Windows so until it goes in it's not going to be it's not going to turn to blue if the card works so we're just going to have to let it start up and load the drivers and everything like that to see where it goes and that's exactly what it did just now turn to blue and we're actually going in so it loaded the drivers and initialized the card um, and it's going to start up Windows here now. So, what we're going to have to do after this is to further test it out. We're going to take and run our burn in program and see if we cannot cause it to fail. If we can make it fail, then we know that the that the chipset needs to be reflowed. It has to be reflowed. But if it doesn't fail, then we're just going to reflow it as a courtesy, the same as we did to Toshiba. So, what we're going to do is let this load up and go and do what it's going to do. And then uh, we're going to run our burn in program and see what happens. So, we've got on the internet, we're downloading our program to uh, run our burn in. So, what we're going to do is uh, take and run our program here from Passmark and then we're going to begin our test to see what uh, we can find out as far as our burning goes wow we don't have 64 bit well we'll run the 32 bit program and see what happens so we'll download this one real quick And then we'll run it and see what happens. So what we're going to do is install this, set everything up to do our burn in and test our system out and see what happens close all these pages
This, uh, this always takes a few seconds to uh, do what it needs to do to update the DirectX. But um, as we can see, we're connected to the wireless. And so we know the system's working. We know the wireless is running. Um, those are two main faults that you could attribute to NVIDIA cards. Uh, no wireless, uh, no SATA emulation, um, and video issues. Uh, USBs go out, HDMIs go out. Um, so we know those are typical issues. What we're going to do is configure this, and we'll configure it as we always do. Uh, CPU at a hundred percent. We'll do this at uh, one hundred. Gotta actually cut our number lock on. Actually, you know what? We'll do it this way. One hundred percent. Optical drives on zero. RAM at one hundred percent. Um, video at uh, 100 percent and no network no sound hard drives at 100 percent 3D graphics 100 percent 2D graphics 100 percent so those are the uh, six that we run we run them at 100 percent say okay then we run our current configuration say okay and then it'll actually start up and that's how it does when it starts up so we're gonna let this uh, do its thing it'll take 15 20 minutes and then if it fails, it fails, it'll let us know. If it doesn't fail, then it'll let us know also. So we'll let it run and do its thing and then come back to it and say 15, 20 minutes and see what we find. So the motherboard, hard drive, video, everything passed. We can actually uh, see that it did everything it was supposed to. Um, Temperature actually stayed pretty, uh, let's see if we can't get to this temperature. Oh, we're going to have to close this. But we're going to go to the temperature monitor. Uh, through all the uh, testing, the highest that I only got to was 83. And the hard drive only got to 41. So, not exactly sure what's going on with this machine. I'm probably going to have to get back to the customer, but uh, I'll do a reflow on it just to be certain. So we'll reflow it, do everything that we normally do to them, and uh, check everything out. But um kind of confused. This one's actually working perfectly fine. Uh, so we'll call it done for now. We have to put it on the reflow machine, but... Uh, no telling after we talk to the customer. We'll see how it goes.